Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ann Shaw. I'm with Coastal Carolina Community College, and welcome to the 2014 Jacksonville Onslow Board Development and Training Conference. I want to also take this opportunity to mention our partners in this event. We are joined by the City of Jacksonville, Coastal Carolina Community College, Onslow Civic Affairs, the United Way of Onslow County, thank you very much, Craig, also the Onslow Caring Communities Foundation, an affiliate of the North Carolina Community Foundation, and very importantly, Keno, Quality Enhancement for Nonprofit Organizations Operated by UNCW. Thank you, Natasha. I also want to appreciate Jones Onslow EMC for the refreshments they're providing today. Thank you very much, Jones Onslow. And now, without further ado, I want to bring up my boss, the president of Coastal Carolina Community College. Coastal Carolina is, is proud of our association with this now time-tested instruction, the Board Development Conference. Recognizing the benefit to our community is a former Civic Honor awardee and the leader of Coastal Carolina Community College, Dr. Ron Lingle. Some of you may be wondering if the uh, president of Coastal Carolina Community College doesn't have enough to do, or if having me provide the welcoming remarks today means that I was the only public official available. And if it was the latter, please allow me the courtesy of blissfully assuming that I was your first choice. Many years ago, Mayor George Jones ask a very young and enthusiastic radio station manager and an unbelievably devoted and energetic public service volunteer leader, Glenn Hargett, to crunch the numbers and to try to estimate what it would cost the city of Jacksonville and Onslow County if the work being done each year in this community on behalf of those who desperately need that help had to be done by salaried government employees. I don't remember the figure, but it was staggering even in 1990. In fact, Mayor Jones and Glenn used those numbers to support the application of the city of Jacksonville for federal recognition as an all-America community. Some of you will remember that Major General Don Gardner, then the base commanding general, whose young, married, enlisted Marines living out in the community were many of the beneficiaries of some of these volunteer services. And he actively participated in the community's application process. Our community won the, comp the recognition and the competition, as you know, and there wasn't even a close second. The caring community which all of us love and have chosen as our home, was no longer something that only a couple of thousand dedicated selfless volunteers quietly and systematically created and sustained. It was now the defining characteristic of a truly unique American military community. Some of those whose tireless efforts made that proud title a touching and heartwarming reality are no longer with us, but others are sitting in this room right now. And the breadth and depth of those mind-numbing volunteer services have not just been sustained. They have in fact grown in number, in effectiveness, and most importantly, in the immeasurable impact on the quality of life of the citizens that we serve. Most communities of this size and complexity now have important individual and family services provided at least in part by dedicated selfless volunteers. But no community on the planet has the breadth, the depth, and the quality of volunteer services that Jacksonville and Onslow County now take for granted. And that is primarily because of the sustained commitment, the annual training, and the unwavering dedication of the people in this room. 
So there, and Ron Lingle is here today because I know what makes this community so unique and special, and I am honored to be welcoming you to this board training event. Without the leadership of the people in this room, this simply would not continue to be America's quintessential caring community. Have a great conference. Thank you, Dr. Lingle. We've mentioned partnership today. A true partnership has been the work done to help create the future for nonprofits through sustainable funding. I'm proud that a number of endowments have been created that one day will provide income and mission for these nonprofits in Onslow County. Those endowments depend on others. I'm particularly proud of an effort here to help create lifetime givers among youth. The Harmony Program is an outgrowth of the Jacksonville Youth Council with a mission to expose young people to the power of philanthropy. These high school students have learned that small gifts can have great impact. Helping to lead this program is Carmela George. She is the Jacksonville Community Programs Coordinator. Thank you, Ann. Good afternoon. Um, Harmony stands for helping all reach more options through new youth givers. Last year, the youth of Harmony had a very small amount of money to give away. This year, they have slightly, a, a slightly larger amount, but we need applications for that money. The youth want to give their money to youth-led projects. This can, be, this can be a youth group at their church, a school club with a mission, youth volunteers at your nonprofit, or a group of young people with an idea of how they can improve their community. We're asking you to help get the word out that this money exists ready to be given away. Only a youth-led group can apply for it. Perhaps you can inspire some youth you know to consider a small project in the range of $200 to $1,000 or so that would make a difference. If you need more information, see me. I'll be here throughout the conference. Look on the city's website or pick up an application that will be available here at the conference. Thank you. We also, as already mentioned, have some great partners in the United Way and Kino, the UNCW Quality Enhancement for Nonprofit Organizations Program. Here to talk about those programs and a joint program that involves all of you are Craig Wagner and Natasha Davis. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Craig Wagner, the president for United Way of Onslow County. And United Way is proud to partner in the presentation of this conference as together we can strengthen the capacity of local nonprofit organizations. One of the great benefits to this annual conference is the opportunity to reconnect with so many of our community partners in Jacksonville and Onslow County, including those who benefit from the services and resources through Volunteer Onslow, which is one of our programs at United Way. Last year, Volunteer Onslow facilitated over 8,105 service hours, saving local nonprofits over $154,736. I'm sorry, $154,736. One of our new initiatives with Volunteer Onslow Board Connect is a partnership with Keno, the City of Jacksonville, Coastal Carolina Community College, and the Onslow Karen Community Foundation. And to talk a little bit more about Board Connect, I'm going to turn it over to Natasha. I'm Natasha Davis, the Director of Quality Enhancement for Nonprofit Organizations at UNC Wilmington. Oh, sorry. And I need a step stool when I'm standing beside him as well. Um, I'm Natasha Davis, the Director of Quality Enhancement for Nonprofit Organizations at UNC Wilmington. And we ha are so excited to continue to work with United Way of Onslow County, the City of Jacksonville, and Coastal Carolina Community College to help bring resources and programs and support to your nonprofit sector. Um, Keno's designed to help build the capacity of the nonprofit sector and thereby increase philanthropy by 
um, building donors trust in the sector. So this uh, initiative that we have um, with the four partners, five partners, that Craig um, introduces, Board Connect. We started this, we piloted this last year. What it is, is helping, helping you find um, great, engaged, educated board members for your organization. We truly believe that the key to having a successful nonprofit organization is to having a strong, engaged board to help you, to help guide that organization and help make those decisions. So with this partnership, we'll be providing a lot of diff various trainings on board governance. And every, every other month on, a t on Tuesdays, we have in all of your packets, you have this in there and it has the dates. So the February 11th, April 8th, June 10th, all of those dates, Kena will be here in Onslow County and will provide training to your organization's board members. And that training may be on, you know, helping you to recruit board members, assessing what kind of board members you need, and some basic board governance of what does it mean to be a board member. And the training will be for an hour, and then for an hour after that, we'll be able to provide technical assistance to those who attend. So we may be able to help you put together a board orientation manual, or at least help you design you know, the contents of what should be in that manual. We may be able to help you um, fill out a board matrix to fill out, to find out where are your strengths and where are your weaknesses to help you recruit better board members. And then on the Thursdays following that training, we'll also be offering a training to the community for prospective board members so that they know what does it mean to be a board member and they know what questions to ask before joining a board. And what that does for you as nonprofit organizations, it gives you a stronger pool of people that know what it means to be on a board so you don't have someone just sitting there nodding and agreeing with everything. They know they have a responsibility and that what those responsibilities are. And we are hoping that at the end of this year, we will have a pool of qualified board members that are ready to join your organizations and that your boards will be stronger because of that and, and your organizations will be stronger because of that and that's the whole part. And also Keno will be here to do a seven hour responsible board go governance training twice in the spring and probably twice in the fall um, that will go over in detail board governance and what's expected and we'll come back out and do a financial accountability training that's nine hours to help you manage your finances. So all of that is part of the Board Connect and, and we're adding more services um, just like you guys were grant funded. So we're adding more services as the grants roll in and let me do it. <laughs> so keep looking out for that. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Natasha. So we have a lot of sessions for you today, lots of different topics for you to choose from. I want to again thank all of the partners and participants in the sessions today. And now we begin. So for those of you who are participating in the financial management tools session, you can go with Carmela Fulcher, Carmela George, to meeting rooms.